money. Duke Clavett declared bankruptcy. Had that ring on his finger. Shite, is it what? A non-human, a nouveau race. And there, there, a mutant. Greetings to the Honourable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Did you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Veda Maniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece? What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%, a modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horse Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic. Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes... Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy.
look splendid in the boudoir. Hmm, some spilled wine. Nothing else. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? Don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued. A notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Vesemir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met. Something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Vesemir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes. But also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued, then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. There is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit mad woman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old, and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Full of horses. 